Captain, priority one message from Starfleet. Jean-Luc, we've just received some very disturbing information about the leader of the Borg invasion. I already know. Ormond. An honorless dog like you will never rule the Empire. That is where you are wrong, Worf. Now that I possess the sword of Kalis, the Klingon throne is mine. I will see to it that day never comes. Admiral Sela, sensors confirm. It is the Omega Particle. Prepare the containment field and hail the nearest board vessel. Tell them we wish to negotiate a deal. Receiving a transmission from the Borg Cube. On screen. Locutus. Picard, lower your shields and prepare to be assimilated. If you are truly who you appear to be, you must know that I will not comply. You will comply. Your defensive capabilities are no match for us. Your culture will adapt to service ours. Resistance is and always has been futile. weapons on that vessel. The Federation stands on the precipice of another major conflict that threatens the fragile peace we have worked so hard to achieve. It's been six months since we successfully dealt with the threat of the Omega Particle. Tensions between the Cardassians and the Klingon Empire are on the rise, and we've just received word of a renewed Borg threat. Intelligence provided by the Romulans suggests the Borg have developed a terrible new weapon capable of assimilating an entire planet and its population. This weapon was used on a planet in the regular Badlands, located on the very edge of the neutral zone. If the Borg succeed in gaining a foothold here, they could strike any target within the Alpha Quadrant with little or no warning. Lieutenant, I think we are fully aware of the implications here. The Borg must be stopped at all costs.
space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Positive identification of the traitor's cruiser, linking to your tactical display. Follow my intercept course. Take us around the fiercest fighting and deliver us near his flank. The target shows no sign of evasion. General, forward weapons locked and ready. Fire! Your shield is down. Forward disruptors. Recharged and locked. Roll fire. Lower shields. General, they are beaten. I request the honor of delivering the final death stroke. Maintain your position aft of their rear shield array until you hear from me directly. Now bring an end to this charade. Chief Engineer, transport me to the traitor's bridge. I care nothing for the damage to the engines. I want change. Shake them off and bring us back, or your head will adorn my... Kalnor, son of Geoch. I challenge you under the ancient rites of blood peace. Your officers will bear witness. Chang, this is not one of your lectures at the Academy. This is a warship of the House of Geoch. Your life became my property the moment you beamed aboard. There will be no duel. Our ancestors settled their differences in this fashion. The right of blood peace may have fallen out of favor in this decadent age. But it is no less binding today. Or will you flaunt your cowardice in the very presence of your men? You are a fool, Chang. Chancellor Lorak will fall. His illness weakens him by the hour. Already he is unfit to lead the High Council. Withdraw this challenge. Join me, and I will ensure a proper place for you within my new government. You cannot avoid my challenge, Kalnor. If it is Lorak's fate to be deposed, so be it. I will ensure his successor will be a man of honor, not a cowardly son of Geoch. <laughs> <laughs> Famous words of Shakespeare now, Chang! Had you accepted my offer, you would have lived to fight your true enemy. Now you're just a glob fly on the road to my ascension.
life's but a walking shadow. It's a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Captain's Personal Log, Stardate 54303.1. Our new first officer is working out nicely, quite capable, though mildly lacking in experience. The commander will gain that with time. My ship has been assigned to the Vesuvi system to investigate the unusual solar activity hampering colonization in the Maelstrom. I hope to learn more at the Vesuvi 4 terraforming station, the sole Federation outpost in this region of space. We are also on alert for any Cardassian activity. Despite Starfleet's claims, I doubt we've seen the last of them here. Icarus 2 is approaching the station. Sir, we're getting some very strange readings from that star. Commander, emergency message from the captain. On screen. The star. Oh my god. Its core is destabilizing. Get the ship out of here! Now! Sir, warp engines not responding. Routing emergency power to impulse engines. Picking up an unidentified object warping out of the system. I can't get a good reading on it. We've cleared the system, sir. Setting course for Starbase 12 for emergency repair as ordered. <laughs> 